Hi guys, I received a comment on my profile from Jesse is Bullin 13 and it says, do you have any information on how to make a website, like a real working website? Please reply. Thanks for your question, Jesse is Bullin 13. Keep them coming. Um, right, so we're going to make a website, a basic website. You've got to think about the content that you're going to put on it first. So what's your website going to be on? What do you know? What, what's your favourite thing? Um, what do you know lots about? What would you like to share with the world? Um, once you know this, you can start thinking about your website, what you want to do with it. Um, now, uh, once you've got every, an idea in your head on what you're going to put in this website and all this content that you're going to put on this website, you need to start thinking about two things. First thing is a host, and the second thing is a domain name. Now, some packages come with both. Now, if you were to go for a host, let me explain what a host is. Um, free website host. Now, um, first one that comes up is free webs. Now, the host is where you put your files on, or the, the people that actually hold your website on the internet so people can view it. But um, with free web hosts, you'll find that they put advertising all over your pages, which isn't very good because they're earning money off your pages. So, um, it's not very professional either because it, your your thing will be called something.freewebs.com for example you want to be able to have your own name don't you so you can have www.yoursitename.com so the best thing to do is go for a paid host now it doesn't cost that much they sometimes they charge you monthly sometimes they charge you yearly and you can cancel at any time I'm going to show you the one I have which is streamline.net now I went for the home package recently I've upgraded to the power for one of my sites but um, for the home package, I made sure that I could get 24-7 FTP access. Now, this is important because um, you want to be able to upload your files and uh, change your pages. So, say I made an a, a HTML file on my desktop and I had all the information I've got. It's got all the images in it and it's ready to go. I can then upload it to a website for FTP. Upload it to a host, sorry, for FTP. Um, which is what we need really because it makes it more professional and then you can edit your files on the server and things like that so you don't have to worry about um, uploading, downloading, you can edit it using an FTP client and you'll see it's got an online FTP, FTP access via any ISP um, several other options that are here now the great thing about this home user package as well is that I get a free domain name now this is the fun part because then you can start thinking about what name you're going to give your website so it doesn't have to be related um, necessarily to what you're what you're doing because if you can imagine Google I think Google uh, means a number or something I don't know hang on I'll just define Google <laughs> I hope it doesn't say oh yeah that's the wrong bit I hope it doesn't say I think because it's named after Google which is a big number um, probably the search engine search engine yeah I think it's named after Google um, uh, which is nothing really to do with searching so an eBay for example that's a shopping but eBay doesn't really relate anything to shopping kind of um, so you don't have to have a website name that relates to what you're doing so for example if you have a tech website and you call it chocolatesheep.com or something um, it obviously doesn't relate to tech but people will remember that because you've said two words that are easily rememberable and you put them together and so people will know chocolatesheep.com is your website so uh, another thing to do is to have a very small website and just do initials. So if I say um, DSMNet or something like that for my um, one of my websites, because DSM is my initials. So um, that would be easy to remember as well. So it's just to make it easy and rememberable. Now the other thing to uh, understand is that uh, I'll explain this in a while that not everyone's going to be typing your name, uh, the name of your website, into uh, the address bar and come to your site. But I'll explain that in a second. So. Um, you've got your home user package or whatever. You've got your website and you're you're ready to you're eager to get going. So you've got your host and it says it's got a test page on there which you've got to replace and you've got your own domain name that you can access through the address bar. Now the next thing to consider is starting to make your pages. Now you can go on uh, you can go on a free website layouts or something like that. So this will be uh, templates for your websites which you can then edit. Uh, so for example, you can have one like that and you can download it and um, you can basically start editing them to uh, have your own ones but usually with these free templates uh, they have their own link at the bottom or something but that doesn't really matter because people will be focusing on your content rather than who made the website because um, also if I show you the one I used to have um, I used to use Skidoo 2 quite a while ago now it 
it doesn't look much does it so it's not very well in terms of graphics but the whole point is that people come to your website to look at the content and not and they, I, they don't really care about sorry I don't really care about what your website looks like um, they care about what they've come to search for or what they've come to actually look at so obviously it helps if it's graphically nice but um, with my ski do too it was mainly full of text now this helped me because firstly I was on dial-up connection which is a very old connection slow connection and um, I could load this page quickly if I wanted to edit it and things like that and also um, it was fairly easy to edit as well um, I managed to set my website up in about two hours uh, from nothing basically from scratch and uh, basically have a fully working website with images, links because um, all you need to do is you can actually download this I think you just download Skidoo 2 CSS or something it's on here somewhere you can download it and then all you need to do is edit it in Notepad or something and just start editing where the text is so you, all you have to do is look at the web page and say alright Skidoo 2 a three column layout change that text to mymainwebpage.com or something and then start editing the links and then you can look. You'll look at the code, and then you'll see what the links mean and the HTML tags. Because you may find yourself looking at HTML tutorials, because HTML is the language that is made to make a web page like this. Uh, but this uses CSS as well to help with the layout of it. Um, but I use the CSS file to change colours of this, because obviously green isn't a brilliant colour. So HTML is um, essentially what you need to kind of learn, but you, you'll probably find it when you go to edit files that have already been done, you'll kind of see what things do if you have a muck about with it. Um, so you'll find that you can start adding boxes here um, by adding certain tags and stuff like that. So um, that is the ski do too. Now, um, my website didn't come with my SQL because if you if you don't want to make a website like this which just shows a nice picture and then a bit of text about you and a couple of links if you want to turn your website into a blog and if you don't know what a blog is I don't know, I'll type in a random blog uh, Stephen Fry is this a blog? Yes, yeah, a blog uh, usually it's your website.com forward slash blog but you can have it um, have it as your main page if you really want to now uh, I'll just say there we go this is a blog so you've got this guy he's, he's writing several things um, throughout his life obviously on certain days and he's doing it and easily he doesn't have to edit any code because you have something called a blog editor now the one I used was Pivotlog now the website I don't think is working at the moment because I've tried to go on it and it keeps freezing so um, I don't know if there's another one that I can go on that will show it but basically the pivot log you just install it on your server now you may think it's really difficult to do but it's not you just upload some files and run an index page you go into like your website slash blog and then it does it all online for you so um, that, that's useful because then you get an editor which looks much like if you're posting in a forum and then all your content will be displayed like you saw in that Stephen Fry thing or whichever one I went on and um, it comes up in an easy to read format and it's SE, it's search engine op optimized SEO because the important thing about SEO is that not everyone's going to type your website into the, your, the address bar to come and visit you a lot of people are going to be using things like Google to find information so you have to make sure that you've got content on your website that's unique and it's got many keywords in it to make people come to your site so if you say, I don't know, cheese more than f six times or something, it will increase the chance that people are going to come to your website because you've talked about cheese. So another thing is the importance of your website. If people like what you've put on your website, they'll link to you. And the more links you get, the higher link, higher you get on Google in searches. So that's an important thing. Now another thing I used uh, was uh, BB Clone. Now this does stats, I'm running out of time. This does stats on your website. It'll show you a web page on your website that shows you how many visitors that you've had to your site. Um, I just installed it and you can go on an extra um, page. Now you can also have a forum, but my home package didn't come with MySQL. Now that MySQL is a database and um, I needed to use something called flat file because then it just uses text inside your website. So I did a flat file forum, I think it was, something like that. I uh, can't spell, can I? And um, flat file forum, and it's just a forum that um, that uses, oh, I can't remember the name of it, it just uses flat files and you can have a forum running as well. So you can have a blog, a forum, and a main site. Uh, there's several other things you can do. Now I made another website also, um, I made a video called uh, Making a Website Without Code. Be sure to check that one out because you'll need MySQL but you don't need to do any code and it sets it all up for you. So um, I'm running out of time now so thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.